Hello and welcome to the video series of local file inclusion and remote file inclusion. In this entire video series, we will see how we can take advantage of LFI and RFI vulnerabilities and take access of the system. So I have already updated sample code for LFI and RFI in the Troika e-learning portal. You all can download this code and then you can replicate in these labs in your laptops. So for this video series, I have a setup with two virtual machines. One is Ubuntu and the IP address of this machine is 192.168.100.144 and then I have a Kali operating system and the IP address on this is 192.168.100.129 So let me try to reach Ubuntu machine from the Kali machine to verify the connectivity so I am able to reach that machine Now in this video we will talk about how RFI remote file inclusion works so let me uh, go to the Ubuntu first and show you what exactly code we will be using to replicate this lab. Now if you go to web directory and then RFI and then RFI.php So here we have a small PHP code which does echo this way and will explain concepts of LFI and RFI and then it takes a variable which is a file and then whatever it takes as a user input it does that include in this code which is include function now there is no input validation here what can be included and what cannot be included that is one thing which is a problem in this code and for successful RFI to work you need to make a change in PHP configuration so if you go to etc php apache folder and if you open php.ini search for allow url include so now in latest PHP version, this allow URL include option is off. With this option set as off, we will not be able to include files remotely. So if administrator has some requirement to include file remotely, or if it is a misconfiguration, then this option will be set to on. So to replicate this RFI, I'm going to enable this option, which is allow URL include on save the content restart your apache and come back to kali machine so let's say we have this 192.168.100.144 uh, as a web server i could see a few folders here now go to rfi for this video and then rfi.php so now it says this VM will explain concepts of LFI and RFI which file to be included. And if you remember in this folder, let me go back here. In this folder we have a home.php and we have a contact.php files. So first let me try to include these files. So question mark is for the first parameter to include and the command, the page which we want to include against file parameter is home.php very good so it says I am vulnerable to RFI now if I include contact.php I could see it is a TCSA 5 exercise so I am able to include files let me see if I can include the files remotely so how we can do that uh, let me enable Apache on my Kali machine go to web directory and try to include a simple backdoor shell remotely so copy user shell sorry copy web shell to this web directory user share web shells php and then uh, 
simple hyphen backdoor PHP. I'll name that as let's say uh, LRFI test dot PHP. Change the file permission RFI test dot PHP. Now and to see the results in better way, I will also enable the Wireshark tool. So here type as HTTP, uh, let me enable the capture. I want to capture only HTTP traffic, so I have put filter based on HTTP. Now type here HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.100.129. And as it is 129, and then RFI test dot PHP. So, this first portion in the URL is to access RFI dot PHP on Ubuntu machine, and then against file parameter, we are trying to include a file which is there on the Kali machine with the name RFI test.php so let me try that awesome so I can include the file and I can see how to use the content how to execute the commands now if you go to Wireshark let me first take you to the Wireshark so first get request was for rfi.php and then parameter and then if you see there is another get request so that is the very basic test if you want to do RFI testing you just enable a uh, Wireshark and see if there's a get request coming in from the vector machine back to the attacking machine. Here I could see 192.168.100.144 is sending a get request to 192.168.100.129 for RFI test.php. So that means I can include the files remotely. Now for second parameter we need to use ampersand and then cmd is equal to ls awesome so i can execute commands now so if you do pwd if you do if config if you want to see content of pass wd file so i can see everything so with the help of allow url include option as set to on and there is no validation in rfi.php that what files can be included we are able to include the files remotely and we can now execute the commands via web shell so that's all for this video thank you very much and i hope you are enjoying this video series from troika system